My name is Kate Ann and I wish to outline my main concerns on the green paper and why I feel it's not fit for purpose. Number one, the effect it has already had on people's mental health and the fear and distress that it has spread to our community. I feel the department gave no consideration to how the disabled community would feel. In the green paper, it stated that tiers two and three would be expected to engage with Intrio and take up employment. Now, Minister Humphreys has said that engagement with Intrio would be voluntary across all three levels. My concern is will Minister Humphreys go back on this at a later date? One of my biggest concerns since I first read the green paper is employers. Realistically, many employers won't employ disabled people. So how will they tackle this? I know many disabled people who have spent years looking for employment and have had no success. The money that has been spent on the green paper could have been used to train employers, to educate employers and help disabled people find the employment that they want. Number four, after attending the public consultation at loan, I still do not understand how disabled people will be put into three tiers. Having three tiers is oversimplifying what it means to be disabled. Personally, life can be different for me on a daily basis. Some days I might have to spend hours in bed and not have the energy to do anything. But what employer would understand this? Number five, and the last point I want to touch on, is the fact that there was no disabled people involved in the process of creating the green paper. There should never be anything without us. Thank you, and I want to congratulate everyone in our community on their efforts so far.